Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be checking out Firefly episode 11 called Trash. I'm excited for this one. I feel like I say that every time. I'm always excited to watch something new, but I am really excited to watch this one. I'm just loving this Firefly journey that we're on, so let's do it. I've got my brown coat. I'm ready. If any of you guys are interested in the full length watch along versions, I do have those over on my Patreon. You can find the link down below. I also do polls over there and some exclusive content as well. So if you want to check that out go for it and if not no worries i love seeing you guys on youtube as well all right guys let's get into it here we go firefly episode 11 trash is he just naked in the desert <sighs> had a rough day yeah yeah <laughs> that went well oh no well this isn't gonna be good just ends up nude in the desert all right Come here. Wow, Mal doesn't really greet people uh, like that very often. Jobs. Where's that sorry ass ship of yours? It screams contraband to the feds. Huh? The beard! Oh, you shaved off your soup catcher. Yep. I got soup catcher. You, to the missus. you have fallen from our noble bachelor ranks. You must be a rare specimen indeed. Yeah, my Bridget. Oh. Oh, Jesus, there's a strong pistol. You guys have met. Oh, well, good. I'm glad she's back. I know she's uh, bad, but I like her as an actor. It's your wife, Monty. You ain't the only one. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. She ain't your wife because she's married to me. Don't listen to him. It wasn't Bridget then. It was Saffron. You're a liar, Malcolm Reynolds. And I ain't never got to telling you his name. Fine, be like that. Damn you to hate! Damn you, you to hate! Love you and then you shaved off my beard for you, devil woman! I'm like highly amused by this whole situation. All right, don't get sucked into her seductive ways. You're gonna want to pull your claw out of that bag. I don't trust her Just one bit. Just up. You missed a spot. Can't miss a place you've never been. I feel like he's not gonna leave her there. She's gonna wind up on the ship. Marriage is hard work, Mal. I know it. That doesn't mean we should just give up. Look at her turning on the charm. You were literally just pretending to be married to someone else. Start walking. You can't just leave me here on this lifeless piece of crap. Why don't you just go ahead and shoot me then? Mal can't leave her. Why didn't you shoot her. me? Shame to say it, but I gave you the window. I knew that if I shot you, I'd lose Monty anyways. Seriously, Mal, you gotta give me a ride. Woman, you are completely off your nuts. Just don't yeah. leave me. He's gonna take her because he's a good man. But she is crazy. You gotta watch her. I had the perfect crime lined up. Million square job. I've got the layout. Bye bye now. Oh, <laughs> but I thought we loved Monty. I don't particularly want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so later with the talking then. More wash. I want more wash. He's like a scene stealer every time he's in one. I, I love him. Would you like some tea? What's your game? I offered you tea. Which makes me <laughs> more than a little skittish. You're using wiles on me. You're feminine <laughs> wiles. Uncanny ability to make a man sweaty and or compliant. Talk plainly is all. I'm not sleeping with you, Mal. I think I would have noticed. Neither are you my mother, nor anyone who has the slightest say on how I conduct my affairs. We go where the work is. There are plenty of worlds where both of us could work. Are you saying I'm doing this deliberate? I do think she might be onto something. But he's probably just going where the jobs are. It's probably just a silver lining that like, oh, there's no, there's no men for her. I stay out of your whoring. Well, that didn't take long. you keep long. out of my thieving. What was the last cargo we snuck past the Alliance to transport? They were little geisha dolls. People <laughs> love those. And what exactly was <laughs> our net profit? So you're in the gang now. And I might as well become a petty thief like you. Petty? Mm. So she? It's Chinese for petty. Maybe you should have stuck with your wiles. You know, maybe I should do a little cosplay as Anara. She's so beautiful. You know you haven't been after serious work. You know serious work? If I... Nothing. Whoa. Tell me more about this job of yours. All right, we're going to do a job with the old crazy ginger lady. The Mark's name is Duran Hamer. His prize piece is the Lassiter. The, the original Lassiter. handheld laser pistol. Hamer's alliance. He'd target neighborhoods with valuables <laughs> without ever damaging the goods. I've managed to get a hold of a layout of the estate grounds and every security code. Yeah, Zoe doesn't buy that for one second. I'm confused. Why don't I go in, grab it for myself? No. What's she doing on the ship? Yes, Where's right? Face? How did she get here? She here. Okay. 
Why don't she just walk in and grab it herself? <laughs> yeah. Good point. The second it passes through the door, alarms security. To do this mm. right, I'm gonna need idiots, them. dupes. I feel the so same. So if you got something better, Anara, something not petty. Take sounds ripe enough, assuming we can fence it. Already has half dozen buyers on the bid. I'll be with her on the inside the whole time. Get over. It. I'm in. Zoe. Mm. Captain says you're to stay put. She'll turn you in for you can say, don't turn me in. She's a liar. <laughs> that don't exactly set her apart from the rest of us. Well, as a rule, I say, girl folk ain't to be trusted. Jane is a girl's name. Jane is a girl's name. I got man parts. I'm trying to think of a way for you to be cruder. I, I was gonna get a deck of cards. Afraid. Jane. Since when? Since Ariel. Afraid we'll know. At least it's mm. your kind of world. The minute we hit Atmo, I'm gone. Don't let Mel trust her. Everything Saffron is, is a lie. Don't count Mel out, though. Yeah. See you when we're wealthy. I love the lady friendships on this, like Kaylee and Inara, uh, Zoe and Inara. Home to the rich and paranoid. Local patrols. Cool. And multi-code keys needed. You and Mal will split off and shuttle to... Hmm. How the hell does he end up naked in the desert? Hamer's throwing a big party this weekend. I have no trouble blending in with the hired help will be there setting up. I like it. We're on another heist. You'll have to disable the display. With the goods in your hands, you can't take it out the front door. You want to hmm. come? It was your genius idea. You chuck it in the garbage. This <laughs> is automated garbage drone system. The drone whooshes off with like trash. Except it's idiotic. The booty will be incinerated. We can tell that disposal bin to go wherever we want. Loneliest piece of desert we can find. We claim the goods when we're all together again. You get to the loot, and we'll get to the bin. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go heisting. Cutest couple in space. This is some risky, risky business out here. This should be it. All right. Let's get to work. She's set. Careful. Okay. Uh -oh. You. You found her. You brought back my wife. Oh my god. She's just married to everybody. Oh my dear. Hit him Yolanda. in the head. Sweet Yolanda. Yolanda. <laughs> Forgive me. Please, I'm the one who's intruding. You've returned to me the only thing I truly treasure. Then uh. this is a day I'll feel good to be me. I promised him 800 square. Never agreed. And... Please. Mal's such a good man. He's like, I don't feel right about this. And she's like, let's get money from him. Both look so tired. There's food or... Yolanda, I'm babbling like a moon brain. <laughs> Six years. From Six the day years. they found your shuttle. These awful men. I didn't know those men. They sold me to slavers. Also unknown to me. You disappeared <laughs> the same day as Heinrich, the security programmer. And I thought... But after they found his body... Guess he wasn't useful anymore. Mm -hmm. I never stopped looking. That's the thought that kept me alive. Yeah, exactly, Mel. That's how I feel. Oh, come on. Mel is <laughs> just biting his nails. Should I go? Well, that's my cue to skedaddle. Yep. Let me get your money. You won't disappear again. Never. Well, I feel like she definitely will. We gotta move fast. She's cold. If you don't know him, he's everything I said he was. I'll bet he even eats up babies. Yolanda, sneak it into a place you could walk into. What's the mm -hmm. math on that? Duran Haber would as soon cut your throat as he would- You would? You don't want him to know the truth. What's she doing? What's she doing? You actually want this one to think well of you. Soon as he could it be, puts that I've down. I've actually met your real husband. Congratulations, yeah. piece of crap. Now I'm intruding. Duran, this isn't what it looks like. That's what we're doing. Don't ask me about the gun, no, because that's new. Well, I appreciate your honesty. Not, you know, a lot. Not a lot, but... Please just stop. Don't look at me like that. Nice! I said don't look at me like that! She's gonna shoot him. Uh... I can't reach it! We need more altitude! Working on it, dear. Kelly. I don't know if they're gonna make it! Kelly! Kelly, Kelly, Kelly! Oh, they got it! Woo! Do you think your life is anything to me? Oh, oh man. man. Don't kill any folk today. Drop it! Now! Did you think I was a princess? 
Oh, this guy's so hurt. That I would sit with you? I hoped. You're a uh, ready fool. Copy that. I think Wash is really cute. Saffron, you want to finish the damn job here? How long have you been with him? He's my husband. Who in the damn galaxy isn't? Ain't? Yeah. So bad for you. If you had half a brain, you'd have called the feds. Oh, I did. Oh. Emergency signal. I love you, Yolanda, but I couldn't think for a second that you actually came here for me. Men. Mel, you should you should just duck out real quick. Tell them it was a mistake. You need help, Yolanda. Anything you want me to. You're embarrassing yourself. She does not take humiliation very well. Mel! It's not an episode if Mel doesn't punch someone. Whoa! I mean, she's a good fighter. Nope. Let's go. Nope. Nope. I wonder what her real name is. That'd be tough. Yeah, have yourself a great guffaw. Six years knowing he was holding such treasures. Time's got hard enough than the one line you hadn't crossed. My name's not Yolanda. Yeah, I no try. Sh I thought this is a decent man. I thought if I had everything, then I wouldn't want the security programmer. You marry him too? No, I didn't oh, why kill not? him either. I should have killed Turin. The one guy who don't have it coming still loves you, treachery and all. I can't have him walking about. You must be loving this. Mal is so sensitive, though. I know he's gonna feel bad for her. I've seen you without your clothes on. Never thought I'd see you naked. Can people ever change? You'll just go back to brilliant, beautiful, evil, double-crossing snake. Cheer up, Weepy. Good for you, Mal. You won't tell anyone about me breaking down. I won't. Then I won't tell anyone how easily I got your gun. Jesus, you can't trust her for one second. May be the most gullible fool I ever marked. That won't make what I just saw anything but truth. I played you. Who might argue? Speaking of naked. Now that's just Okay. Now, I really don't see the benefit to this. You're not gonna catch my crew with their trousers down. Yep. Yeah, more Kaylee. Fix it, but she must have put a timer on the motivator. We ain't gonna make the rendezvous. We have to land. Oh, oh, dirty heart! Yeah, Daddy yeah. Better run! Where is it? It's not here. Is that an aura? Oh, look at her. She's like a princess. Anyway, this works fine. I put on the big act. Wait for you to double cross Mal. Beat you to the rendezvous spot yes. and grab the loot before you can get to it. No, you didn't see it no, coming. No. I didn't see it coming. I love it. Some of the crew's performances weren't quite as nuanced as they could have been. We're playing you from the second Mel took you out of that crate. Amazing! You're not gonna die, you big baby. The authorities will be here in a few hours. I have a position! I love oh. that. Do we get a payoff? Can you move your arms and legs? They're not moving. Uh oh. Why? Uh -oh. Your spine. We gave you something to knock out your motor function so you wouldn't uh -oh. wrench it. Should wear off in a half an hour. How much did they offer you to sell out me in River? That's crazy talk. Mm -mm. Anybody there? Anybody else? <laughs> You're in a dangerous line of work. Sorry, you'll be under my knife. No matter what you do, no matter how you come down on us, I will never ever harm you. You're on oh, the wow. table, you're safe. And however little we may like or trust each other, we're on the same crew. We could circle each other and growl, but that thought wearies me. I like me. him. I don't care what you've done, but I'm trusting you. I think you should do the same. Very cool. Jane, you gotta respect that. I can kill you with my brain. Can she? Though, no, like, can she kill someone with her brain? Just chilling. What is there to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That went well. We got the loot, didn't we? I call it a win. What's the problem? You <laughs> have no clothes. All according to plan. The plan was for me to act as a failsafe in case everything else went wrong. You had a key role. How sad would you have been? If you hadn't gotten to play. Heartbroken. All according to play. Holy. Wash. What? No shame. Just, oh, just hey. putting it all out there. <laughs> good day. Yep. All in a day's work. That was a good one. <laughs> Loved it. Okay, guys. Well, that was Firefly episode 11. And now I know why it's called Trash. I really loved it. You guys may know I love a good heist. So it seems like a lot of the episodes here, they're, they're pulling some kind of job or they're going on a heist or something. So I'm loving that. I was really psyched to see Christina Hendricks back. Her character is intriguing because 
number one, Christina Hendricks herself is, is a great actress. Number two, the character is also a great actress. So you want to believe her, you know? She seems sweet, she seems vulnerable, but just you cannot trust her. She is not trustworthy. Even when she had her like breakdown with Mal after the heist, she kind of sat by him and I was like, she's sitting right by his gun. That's not a good idea. But then I started to be like, maybe, maybe she is having like a moment though. Maybe we can, maybe, you know, she's all right. But no, no, she, you can't trust her. She's terrible. I'm curious if she'll be back in future episodes. It kind of seems like we're not done with her. And I, I do think her character is really interesting and interacts with the crew really well. I loved, I loved, loved, loved when Zoe punched her in the face. That was my favorite part. Zoe, you're amazing. On that note though, I wish we could see more Zoe and Wash and Kaylee. I wish they had a little more screen time, a little more to do, maybe in future episodes though. You know, we saw Jane get hurt and he and the doctor had that sort of conversation where the doctor was really cool. He took the high road. He could have been like, dude, I paralyzed you and now I'm going to torture you because you tried to turn us in, but he did not. He's a good man, he's a good doctor. He just wants to make peace, which is so cool. I think he's such a cool character. It, it sucks that I didn't see that at the start. I think in the pilot, I was like, who is this guy? I think he's very evil. I did not see that he is so good. And I feel like in every episode or every few episodes, we get like a, a sprinkling of a hint about River. And we got one more. She said, I could kill you with my mind. And I don't know if she's just, you know, just saying that, just threatening, but I feel like she's not. I feel like she absolutely can kill him with her mind. So that's interesting. Been thinking about this, I wonder if whoever the two by two hands of blue guys are who took her and were doing experiments on her or whatever, I feel like they were trying to make her into some kind of weapon, maybe. So that would make sense. Just a really good episode. The crew is really working together now. And you know, the doctor and Jane had that conversation that was needed. I'm curious to see now if Jane respects the doctor a little more after that conversation. I think he has to. So, yeah, I really liked it. I'm really looking forward to the next episode, episode 12. I'm gonna watch it really soon. I need to know what's going on. Thank you guys so much for watching along with me today. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.